Hey guys, in this short video, I will talk about some of the differences between the different kinds of directives which are available in Angular right now. So the available directives in Angular at this point of time when I'm making this video are the components, the structural directives and then there is the attribute directives. So I will talk about the differences first between all of these directives and then after this I will um, walk you through a very basic code example using the inbuilt structural and attribute directives of angular on a component so let's start with it so the components are a special kind of directive they are special because they are not used how we use the structural and attribute directives inside any other component or HTML element the components have their own template attached to them and that template is basically a form of HTML which uh, defines how the component should be rendered in angular application so uh, whatever class which is immediately after the component decorator becomes the component class and then we can use that class to do a variety of things like define properties and functions and then um, create different kinds of behaviors for the component etc so yep components are a directive and they come in their own special class now the next one is the structural directives the structural directives as the name implies can be used to change the structure of the existing um, HTML content on the web page so what they do is they simply either add or remove the component or host element or they simply make changes to its structure like uh, you know removing a part of it or adding another thing or another uh, you know section to the already existing structure of the host element so yep that's how structural directives should work although we can also use this directive to put in place uh, different kinds of uh, features to either change the appearance or change the behavior of the um, component or host element but that is not really advised because every structural directive should do what it is supposed to do and that is to modify the structure of the host element and that should be it so the third directive which I will talk about is the attribute directives and so attribute directives are different from structural directives in the way that they only should be used to change the appearance of any element or to um, you know change the behavior like um, how they react to any kind of event etc on the web page and any attribute directive class controller should be decorated or should be used along with the directive decorator now let's move on to the code example in which i will show you the exact difference between the structural and attribute directives by using the inbuilt angulars directives but before that i have a request for all of you if you think that you like this video or you think that it is helpful for you then please don't forget to place a like on this video and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so by doing that you will always be the first to know about any new video updates on my channel all right so over here i have created a very basic angular application and it is opened in visual studio code so i have removed the default content from the app component dot html and i'm adding a component in the html which is the person component so this person component has a first name and a last name and its html is simply displaying the first name and last name it's pretty simple we don't really need to concern about this component so now what I will do is um, I will show you the code of this app component inside the code of this app component there are two properties the first one is the is visible which will be used with the ngif structural directive and then there is the person style property which will be used with the ng style attribute directive so let's do that so first I will um, assign a structural directive to this app person component and I'm going to use the ng if so for the expression I'm simply using the is visible it simply means that if the is visible property has the value true then this component will be added to the DOM otherwise it will not be added to the DOM 
or at any point if this is visible property uh, becomes false then the already added app person component will be removed from the DOM so let's see how it works to run this app I am going to execute the command ng serve this will prompt the angular CLI to build and run the angular application on the local hosts port 4200 All right, so now let's open up the um, local host port 4200 and see how it's looking. So right now we can see the component is being rendered over here. Let me just restore the windows so that we can see them side by side. And yeah, that's it. So right now we can see the component is rendering and because the is visible property has a value of true in the app component. Yep, there it is. This is why we can see that the component is being rendered. Now if we will open up the developer console then we can see that the component is over here. Now if we set this value to false then this component will not get added it will simply be removed and this is how a structural directive should work it will not hide the element it will simply remove it and there are several benefits to this approach the most common one is that if the component or host element is tied to several different kinds of resources and they are you know taking their toll on the applications performance this will ensure that the applications performance will be improved when the component will get removed by using this structural directive so whenever the structural directive will be used to remove the component then there will be a comment over here so we can see from where it has been removed all right so the second directive which i will show you is the ng style which is an attribute directive and it is inbuilt inside angular so let's do that now along with this is visible we can add this ng style and I don't know what this autocomplete has done but I think I'm going to remove all of this because I have already created an object for setting the style and let's just paste the name of this property over here and then and we also need to set this is visible to true otherwise the component will not be added to the web page. Now you can see that the style has been applied to this component because the um, directive, this ng style directive is only working on the look and feel or the appearance of this component. This is why this is an attribute directive. So that's the basic difference between the structural and attribute directives. There are some differences in how we code them but this is really beyond the scope of this video. I have actually created a video on how to create and use custom structural directives in your angular application and I will share the link in the description of this video. There is another thing which I think I should tell you about. You cannot use more than one structural directive on a single component or any other host element this is because angular has basically no way of knowing which directives logic should be applied on the component or on the host element so let's suppose that there are two structural directives which are being used on any element so first one is hiding the element and or not hiding actually first one is removing the element and the second one is adding the element to the dom so angular has basically no way of knowing which um, directive should be given preference to when it comes to executing the logic of both of them so this is why angular will not allow you to use two structural directives on a single host element and that is actually a great idea when you think about it so that's pretty much it about this video guys and if you are watching this video up to this point then i guess that you liked it or you think that it is informative if you do then please don't forget to place a like and subscribe the channel too if you haven't already done so and i will meet you in the next one till then have a great day